and I appreciate my colleague doing so as we come to the floor to honor Matt, and I know that Matt and his colleagues are watching right now, um, and uh, uh, my uh, colleague was able to run through the litany of uh, sort of his career. I will note that in 1987, I was just graduating from high school uh, when Matt was hired in. Um, he has had an incredible tenure, and I can tell you that throughout his career, Matt has put the staff and Grand Valley community at the center of it all, but most importantly, it was about the students for him. It was always about the students, whether it was him looking out who would be the next leader for the student council and the student body president, to who would be a great intern in an office like mine or many others, whether it be in Lansing or in Washington, D.C. Matt was always there for the students. So was, uh, as, he, as was said, uh, when he joined the university, it was a, a smaller college of 8,000 students, literally in the middle of a cornfield. And it now is this juggernaut powerhouse of a university in Michigan with five locations and, and 25, 23,000 students. That is in part due to Matt's efforts. Um, I've had the privilege of knowing Matt personally for well over 25 years, and I too grew up listening to Matt on local television at first. And uh, I can tell you his wisdom, his counsel, his encouragement that he has to offer uh, to friends, family, colleagues, um, it, uh, it is something that he is known for. Uh, I've never met anyone quite so positive as Matt when it comes to life. So in addition to his time at Grand Valley and his time on television, he also has served the state in lots of various ways on committees and commissions. And one very notable one was the Public Service Commission as, uh, as he was there uh, as serving and, and trying to help uh, lead the direction of the state through multiple administrations and various governors. I will tell you this, though. The thing that Matt is especially known for is his Michigan political trivia. Now, I can tell you, if you had been wondering who the lieutenant governor was in 1923, all you had to do was ask Matt, and he would be able to tell you. And he's probably telling and saying the name right now as he's watching this to his colleagues. So here's what I need to say today. Congratulations, Matt, and thank you. Uh, Jane's going to enjoy that time together with you, and, uh, and I know that you've got more coming. Even though you may not have quite figured it out, I know you're fighting to the very end for Grand Valley and for that budget period that's in Lansing right now. Uh, but uh, here is something that we all need to know. Matt, you are a Laker for life, and we thank you for your service. I yield back. Thank you.